On a historical night at Sandy Lane, Top Flight Speedway was back and the two riders for the Spies, Magic Janowski and Charles Wright at a gate one and three were looking to do the dream start. A brilliant start from Wright down the inside and Magic Janowski doesn't call himself Magic for nothing. Charles Wright controls the front. Two boys that are going to chase them home are Brennan and of course Backlav. But it doesn't matter, away at the front, Magic Janowski and Charles Wright just shutting the door there on Brennan. Brennan would be a little bit of a thorn in the side of young Charles Wright going through this race. But he had to hold him at bay. Fox and Spires were looking for an opening win in the opening heat, in the opening game on a very wet night at Sandy Lane. Magic Janowski was out of the picture. Charles Wright still had to keep Brennan at bay. But as it came to the final lap, Magic Janowski was away and gone. Back left pulled out. Just a case of could the Spires pick up that all-important 5-1 in the very first heat against the Birmingham Brummies. Well, the answer was simple. They did indeed. Janowski taking three points, followed by Wright with two. The meeting progressed on a filthy night. Not too much rain, but wet patches on the track. And by the time we made Heat 6, 10 points was the lead for Oxford Spires over the Birmingham Brummies. Interesting though, Janowski off of 1 and off of 3, Charles Wright. That's the gate that seems to be doing it. And in between with the pink headgear, Scott Nichols, the cheetah's captain, out of the gates. And gate 3 does the business yet again. Charles Wright ran the outside of Scott Nichols, who knows his track really, really well. In behind is Magic Janowski. Can the cheetah's... Star and captain keep Janowski at bay. Well, it seems to be doing very, very well. Charles Wright was away and gone with a blue helmet. And Nichols and Janowski, as Nichols picks up plenty of drive down the back straight in front of the pits. Driving on behind. Can Janowski get there? He goes down the inside this time. Nichols still holds the line. It's a real battle for second and third. Wright's away. He's at home by now and he's got his feet up. Nichols still holding off Janowski into the fourth bend down the home straight right to the line one lap to go it's Nichols Janowski this is going to be all the way to the line Nichols holds the racing line coming into the third bend just slows up a touch there can Janowski make the most of it he's driving up the inside this is going to be tight Janowski makes it two points and five one yet again to the Oxford Spies over the Birmingham Brummies wonderful riding by Janowski never gave up but the cheetah's captain, Nichols, well, he's right there and knows his track well. Well, we move on to Heat 9, and this really was the ride of the night. Look out for Chris Bomber Harris, who told me on press day that he'll ride right to the end. Oxford coming off of 2-4, and four, Harris with a blue helmet. And of course, in a red helmet, Nicholas Clint Nichols is off of 1. The tapes are about to go and the shale's about to fly. It's a great start from one and three this time. Cook and Nichols get away and the two Oxford riders are trailing. Klimt gets overtaken first by Bomber Harris. He is the team captain and it's the team captain of the Spires chasing the team captain of the Cheetahs up front. In between is Cook. Can Bomber Harris find a way round? The two Birmingham Brummies riders seem to be team riding really well, but out ran the outside into the decent traction comes Bomber Harris. Round the outside, he bombs down. Can't get round the outside. Maybe the attack could be to go down the inside. Let's see. Nichols and Cook lead the way. Harris this time out of the third bend. Drifts down the inside where the water is. Comes on the inside of Cook. He's got the line now as they go into the first bend on the final lap. Can he get round and keep it and make it stick? Nichols is in front. Big drive for him. Harris is into second. Harris now chasing the Cheetahs captain. But he'd be more than happy. Having come out of the first bend in fourth, he finished second. And the Birmingham Brummies get themselves a 3-3. But as the heats then progressed on the night, it was a 47-43 victory for the Spires on their return to top flight speedway at Sandy Lane. It was a solid card. Harris 13, Janowski 11, Kerr 9. And of course, Baujen, the 16-year-old, with four points.